Good to talk with you both. Congratulations on this film. I will start off by saying that I'm happy we have something positive that we can go see. I mean, there's just so much craziness, and mm. we're not going to talk about any of that. <laughs> they do it themselves. But uh, I just love the fact that, you know, we can see something. I watched this with my mom the other night, oh. and who's, she's now a Newsboys fan, by the way. Oh, really? She's like, I can get all their music. <laughs> but how did that make you guys feel to be a part of this? Did it make you feel good to actually? I haven't, yeah. I haven't really gotten to uh, experience a lot of feedback yet because, I mean, our premieres this coming Monday, and I, the film hasn't been released yet. But I'm, I'm proud of the movie, and I'm proud to be a part of it, definitely. I mean, anything that starts an honest conversation about the role of religion in our modern society, I think is good for us, you know? I think there's great arguments on both sides of the coin, you know, um, you know I, I, as a believer in the separation of church and state, you know, I, 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 I feel like, you know, that is a part of our, of our Constitution, you know, although it, we have a part in the movie that does shed some light on that. You know, but uh, but but also, but but I also believe that you know, in, in freedom of speech and freedom of religion, you know, and uh, in in for people to have a voice, you know, in our country. I mean, that that is the foundation of our country. It's about freedom, you know. But I but there's a lot of gray area there, and that gray area is explored in the movie. Definitely. Yeah. When you guys found out there was going to be a sequel, what was your thought? Well, I had never seen the first one actually, oh. so I was handed the script and um, read it right away. I didn't want to watch the first one yet because I wanted to see what I thought of the second one on its own. And so I'm really glad I didn't see the first one actually because it, it didn't color my opinion of the second one already. So I got to read it as it stood on its own and I thought it was a great story. I think it was an important story. I loved my character. Um, and then going and watching, immediately watching the first movie to see, you know, what's this gonna be like. And, um, you know, I think that this is definitely a, the next step in this movie. I love that it stands on its own, but it's also, um, it's an important story to tell, and Jesse keeps saying that it, it helps break down the barriers of uh, the stereotypes. The first one has a lot of stereotypes in it, and the second one, definitely, they made improvements to make sure that those characters were not necessarily fit in one little box. And so, um, for me, taking on this film, I felt very called to do it, and it was not easy for me to take on this film and do it because of things going on in my personal life, but um, I made the room for it, and I'm so glad that I did. I'm so proud of this film. I think it turned out to be, first of all, a beautiful film, so career-wise, that's a great, I'm very proud that I could be a part of this, but also, I think it's an important story and an important message, and um, you know, as a Christian woman, I'm really, I'm really proud of the foundation of this film. I love hearing that. We're not done. I just, I was, I just, I totally agree with everything you both have said. If I get a speeding ticket, by the way, you're the first guy I'm gonna call. Well, did you have to learn lawyer stuff? You were like, I was convinced. I was like, wait a minute, that's Jesse. I know him as an actor, but you're, you're Thank a you. darn good lawyer. Thank you. I appreciate that. A lot of preparation went into those scenes. I mean, that was the first time I ever had, uh, you know, basically a six-page monologue. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, it was a challenge. You did a great job. Thank you. Final question for you both, and this is kind of a cliche question, but I really want to know what your thoughts are. You've kind of touched on this already. What should we learn from this film? What 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 do we talk I about? I think there's a lot of lessons yeah. in this movie, but I think at the root of it is, you know, stand by your convictions, stand by your faith. You know, if there's something you believe in, you need to believe it wholeheartedly. And, um, you know, and in this movie, what we're able to prove, which I'm, which I'm very excited about, is that Jesus, historically as a man existed. And we bring in people's real life testimony to prove that. And we're able to stand on facts and prove Jesus existed. So then it's a matter of whether or not in your heart you feel like you're touched by the Holy Spirit to believe that he is the Christ and the Messiah and that's individual to everybody.